Hey everybody, Dana Really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Dangerous Relationship. We were on Rirohei Shindo's route on his best ending, Secret Love. And like I said at the end of the last episode, it's not really secret anymore because he already told everybody he was in love. They just don't know who I am. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Rirohei's concert confession became a hot topic in the news. The media ran about trying to pinpoint his love interest on many girls he knew. Fortunately, our relationship survived fully hidden and unscathed. As for new voice... Ryuhei, I tried this one on for me. Got it. He took the outfit I'd handed him and put it on. How is it? It looks the same as what you were wearing a second ago. It looks good on you. The group is in as good shape as ever. Rumors of the group splitting or Ryuhei leaving were abounding, but none were true. They continued with huge success, thanks to the backing and support of their fans. I wish you wouldn't flirt so much in the dressing room. We're not flirting. If you ever get tired of that guy, my arms are open for you. Don't try to hit on my girl, Takuya. Not fair. How come only you get attention? It's only natural when you act like that every day. What do you mean? I hit on girls every day. I basically wrote the book on it. <laughs> and there's your problem right there. Why would anyone want to hook up with you? Screw you. I am more faithful than a priest. If you actually get him to commit, I guess. The entire crew seemed to have accepted our relationship without any issue whatsoever. If all of you know that we're seeing each other now, why don't you give us any time alone? Oh, well, it's all had to. You flirty when we're around. I wondered if that was really how it seemed to them. But really, mind pouring me some tea? Sure, would you like some too, Koichi? Yeah, thanks. Me too. Cut it out, will ya? She isn't your waitress. You want some, Yurohei? Uh, sure. Recently, I had become Rirohei's personal stylist. I was accompanying them around the country on their tour. At first I was nervous about the other members, but I quickly grew used to them. Rirohei, I'm coming in. What is everyone doing in here? The manager came into the room looking surprised to see everyone gathered. They all had their own dressing rooms, but for some reason the group had united in here. They're cock-blocking. They all just ended up in here. Oh, well, easier for me. I want to start the rehearsal soon, so hurry up and get on stage, got it? That was all I said before running out of the dressing room. It's finally time, eh? Come on, stop dawdling around, everyone. Every second counts. See you later, Durley. Takoya blew me a kiss. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Aw, oh, come on. Can't I even give her an air kiss? No, no air kisses either. Bye, Takoya. Good luck. Ryohei was acting so protective and cute that I stopped him to kiss him. <laughs> that shut him up? He was blushing so hard that Takuya turned around and teased him with a smirk. Looks like my kiss made its way to you, Ryohei. <laughs> the group left for the stage, bringing the waiting room to a dead silence. I had time to kill while they practiced at the rehearsal. In the end, I decided to go outside for some fresh air. Huh. <sighs> Sitting on a bench outside the venue, I watched fans as they flocked inside. Among them was a face I knew very well. Subaru? Oh, nope, it's Yukie. Oh! When Yukie noticed me sitting there, she came running towards me. Really? Yukie, you're awfully early. Heck yeah! I wanted to be with Ryohei and Koichi as soon as possible. Koichi? Oh, I did some thinking after we talked. You made him sound so cool and sexy that I got interested in him. I thought you were a Ryohei's fan. Sure, I still am. But cheering for him seems like cheering for a friend more than anything now. Oh. Enough about me. How about you? Me? How was it with you and Ryohei? Better than before, I guess. Better? That's all you have to say? Tell me a little more about what better means exactly. Do I have to? I bet you two just flirt with each other non-stop, no matter where you are. Of course we don't. We'd get in trouble if that happened. Are you sure about that? We can't. We have to be careful that no one finds out about us. Oh, I guess that's true. Jeez, wish I had boyfriend problems like you do. Why don't you get one? It's not that easy. I don't get out as much as you do. You've got to be joking. I get out less than anyone else. Oh, yeah, right. You're literally surrounded by all the guys from New Voice. 
But those three are different. They felt more like close friends than anything else. Plus, you got Subaru hanging out with you too. He just helped me out a few times, nothing more. But why the heck are all the guys around you so darn attractive? Because I paid for the game? I have no idea. Maybe I should study to be a stylist too. Sure, join the club. Then I'd get to look at all the cute guys I want all day. Are you seriously considering it because of that? <laughs> oh no, I'm joking. I am a bit jealous though. For a while, Yukie and I chatted about nothing in particular. After she left, I headed back to the dressing room. On the way, I spotted Subaru walking around. Subaru! Oh, hey, Darily. What brings you here? I was looking for Ryohei, but I couldn't find his dressing room. Oh, I'll take you there. I'm headed back there. Want me to show you the way? Really? That would be great. He followed close behind me as I took into the dressing rooms. When we arrived, we found Ryohei still hadn't come back yet. I guess the rehearsal isn't over yet. Bad timing on my part. I'll make you some tea. Why don't you sit down and wait? Sure. Thanks, I will. It'll only take a minute. Say, how did it go with Rohe after that whole thing? We're doing great, thanks to you. I didn't do anything but give you a little help. Yeah, but without it, I might not be standing here right now. You are blowing it out of proportion. Subaru scratched his head bashfully. Aw, you're so modest. I'm really thankful for what you've done for me. I'd love to pay you back somehow. What I want most I can no longer have. Oh, don't say that! I miss you, Subaru. You are my first in this game. Hmm? No, it's nothing. So, what are your plans with Rohei now? Um, we're just trying to keep our dating secret. Not that. Your future. Future? Do you plan on just dating him forever? I'm not sure what you're getting at. <sighs> Haven't you thought about marriage? Not yet, we just started dating! M marriage I was so startled that I almost spilled the tea in my hand everywhere. Don't look so surprised. I am, though. I wasn't expecting to hear that out of nowhere. Is it really? Are you telling me you haven't given it any thought? That's... To say I hadn't thought about it would be a lie. When Rirohe left my house that night, I always wished he could stay a bit longer. I thought it would be nice if we both returned to the same home together. But at the same time, marriage seemed scary. Well? I don't know. But you weren't against it, at least. I mean, not really. It seems like a nice idea, but... But what? We've been so busy, I just haven't given it much consideration. Well, I can't force you to answer. But just keep the idea tucked away somewhere. Do you know something I don't? I will. Do really, I'm back. Ruhe popped through the door of the dressing room. Not expecting to see Subaru there, he jerked back with surprise. Hey, Ruhe. Subaru, didn't know you were here. Uh, I came to say hello, but found out you were in the middle of rehearsal. Sorry to make you wait. Uh, don't worry about it. I got to talk to Derilli in the meantime. Yeah? What about? Oh, don't look like that. He's your best friend. You have him to thank for us being together. And don't look so mad. We just chatted for a while. I, I'm not mad. No, it looked like you were about to pounce on me there. Subaru smirked at him, obviously teasing him to the fullest. Ugh. It seemed like everyone took the chance to tease Rohei lately. Well, I just came to say hello, so I'm going to get going. Subaru stood up and headed for the door. Why not stay a while? I want to talk to you about a few things too. So you want me to stay and ruin your alone time? We weren't going to do anything like that. Aw, shucks, we weren't. You sure about that? I bet you don't get a lot of time alone with the other guys around. Ugh. Oh well, I'm looking forward to the concert. See ya. Subaru spoke while leaving through the door. Was he trying to be considerate? <laughs> Ryuhe stared at me without saying a word. Then he grabbed my arm and pulled me into his arms. I'll thank him later for giving me this chance. He whispered into my ear as he squeezed me tight. Y yeah good idea Alone at last. No one here to bother us anymore. Let's stay together until the last minute. Ryohei kissed me lightly on the lips 
and stared into my eyes. We've got plenty of time until the concert, so... Uh, somebody's gonna come in, aren't they? Save the fun until after the show. Yeah. Whoa, w when did you get here? Just now? When Koichi appeared out of nowhere, we quickly let go of each other. I snuck in through the door when Subaru left. So we didn't have a second alone! Can't you just enter normally? I'm joking. I just forgot to knock. You should do that kind of stuff behind locked doors. That's what I keep saying. W what are you talking about? I'm not going to tell you to stop. I know you'll do it anyway. However, I want you to concentrate on the concert now. You can have your fun later. Koichi. Sorry to interrupt you. He walked out nonchalantly, as if seeing nothing at all. Um... He might be right, though. Yeah. But just a kiss should be fine, right? Caressing my cheek, Rohei moved in and kissed me softly on the lips. It became passionate, heavy, and much more heated than before. This isn't going to be just a kiss. Mm. I'll save the rest for after the concert. Okay, good luck out there. Thanks. You'll be watching, right? Of course, I'll cheer you on. I'll be looking for you. There'll be thousands of people. You'll never be able to find me. <laughs> Maybe. We should decide on a signal. A signal? A way to signal that I found you. He leaned toward me to whisper something in my ear. The energy and vibe of the arena was sweltering as the concert neared. I wonder if he'll be able to find me. That would be just grand, wouldn't it? Uh, are you mad at me? No! I'm not jealous at all that you're getting along so well. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be. If you're so grateful, the least you could do is introduce me to Koichi. I... <laughs> I'm joking. I helped you because that's what friends do for each other. Yukie. Look, it's starting! The spotlight beamed on stage as the members of New Voice walked on. Hey, did you miss me? Thanks for coming. Shrill screams blasted my ears as the concert started and the crowd cheered. Did you tell him where you were sitting? He was convinced he could find me, so he wouldn't let me tell him. And then do your best to cheer him on so he can find you. Yeah. The speakers pumped out their voices and instruments. No matter how many times I hear and see them dance, it never gets old. I waved my glow stick high in the air and screamed out to cheer them on. Ruhei! The first song ended and transitioned into the second. With so many people here, I don't know if he'll be able to find me. It just started, relax. He's always found you before, hasn't he? It's like, where's Waldo? Yeah, but it's making me anxious. Isn't that half the fun? I guess. Here, switch lights with me. Blue will stand out more. Yukie snatched away mine and shoved her stick into my hands. Meanwhile, the concert drew on, and Ryohei still hadn't found me yet. The concert was nearing the end and winding down. Countless times, I thought Ryohei looked right at me, but he hadn't seemed to notice me. Maybe he's just playing with you. Hmm, that's always a possibility. Ryohei was cute and at times pushy, but he was always quick to blush. What are you fantasizing about over there? Wipe that naughty smile off your face. Sorry. Keep your eyes on the stage. Aren't you supposed to be getting his attention? I just can't concentrate on the concert anymore. That's because you made some silly promise with him. I'll be playing my solo now. I hope you like it. It was the same song as before. I thought he was supposed to sing a new one each time. Hearing it reminded me of reuniting with Ryohei all over again. Ah! As I listened to his ballad play, he turned toward me and winked. Seeing it, all the girl fans around me went wild and crazy screaming. <laughs> when I see you, I'll wink. I'm singing just for you, you know. He had noticed me after all. I bet he noticed me earlier and he was just saving it for then. After the concert was over, I separated from Yukie and went to the dressing room. I came to Ryohei's door and knocked on it. To really, come in. Oh, go figure. Well, that's all you had to say. Aren't you glad to see us? It had become something of a tradition for everyone to gather in Ryohei's room afterwards. I told them not to come, but they wouldn't listen. Ryohei whispered to me so the others couldn't hear. Oh yeah. Hmm? 
I'm pretty thirsty, so I'm going to grab a drink. Come with me, Dorelli. Okay. Grab me a soda. I see, please. Coffee for me. You guys. Fine, I got it. Hold on. Ryuhei took my hand and led me out of the waiting room. Did they really expect us to remember all that and bring it back? He dragged me behind stage and into a dark corner. Ah, if we can't be alone in the dressing room, we'll find our own spot. Phew, we're finally alone now. So, going to get drinks was a lie? You didn't catch on to that? If I didn't make something up and leave, we would never get to be alone. He said with a sneaky smile. That was Ridohei, all right. Cute, pushy, and quick to blush. They're really. Ryuhei tilted his head, tracing his lips across my cheek, and closed them around my mouth. Hmm, Ryuhei, what if someone comes? He stroked up and down my legs with his smooth hands. It's okay, no one will find us here. Uh, but... The more he touched me, the harder it became to hold in my moaning. Hello? Is someone back there? When a man heard us and called out, my body froze with fright. Ryuhei! Don't move from here. He said before stepping out and heading toward the voice. Oh, it's you. You're with the staff, right? Yeah, I thought I heard something back here and came to check on it. Sorry, it was me. I got lost. <laughs> Do you need me to take you to the dressing room? Hmm. Was he planning on leaving me here alone? Yeah, that'd be great. I couldn't believe my ears. Follow me this way. Their footsteps marched off and grew quiet in the distance. If I stepped out of here, someone might find out we were back here together. I peeked around the corner cautiously. Something the matter? When I stuck my head out, Ryohei almost ran directly into it. Ryohei? Did you think I would just leave you behind? Maybe. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I wouldn't do that to you. Just when I thought we'd finally be alone, someone had to come. Now, where were we? Oh, uh, wait! I heard the sound of footsteps approaching. Where the heck did Virohe go? I wonder if he found his way back. Fortunately, they wandered further and further away. This is kind of intense. After a deep breath and sigh, Virohe broke into a wide smile. You're enjoying this, aren't you? I think it's best if we go somewhere else. It's fine here. Fine for you, not for me. He brought his face to my cheek and whispered in my ear. As long as you can keep your voice down, we'll be okay. He teased me by caressing my skin and dotting my lips with kisses. Ah! Each time I recoiled and went to moan, he blocked my voice with a kiss. Mm. Shh! What are you going to do if someone finds us out? He asked with a mischievous smile while sliding his hands underneath my clothes. You got to keep quiet. His eyes looked like he was thoroughly enjoying my struggle not to moan. As his hands groped my body, my thoughts and reason melted away. If it kept up, I wouldn't care even if someone did come. Hmm, Ryohei, I can't hold out any longer. Me either. We made passionate love in the shadows, behind the stage. The very stage that the group had sung on, danced on, and stood before thousands of fans. Instead of lyrics, this time he repeated my name over and over with panting breaths. Now, Ryohei and I clung to each other, leaning back against the wall. What would you have done if someone came and found out? It's okay. I'll figure that out when the time comes. He makes it sound like it's going to happen for sure sooner or later. Sounds like you don't even know. Hey, do really. He leaned away to grab onto my shoulders. This might be sudden and surprise you. But after work calms down a bit, I was hoping we could get married someday. Well, that wasn't a very romantic proposal. Uh, huh? Marriage is forever, and I love you so much that I want to be with you forever. I love you so much that I couldn't agree more. Through the tears, I couldn't tell whether Rohe was smiling or crying. Though the warmth in his hand was the same as always, warm enough that it melted my heart. Well, we got a proposal out of him for his best ending, so... Seems like that should be in order. So in the next episode, we'll see how his good ending turns out. Hope to see you there or in some of my other videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and 
I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.